Hello, ahem, excuse me, ni hao, I mean, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, the Chinese campaign. So, while I was away at the um, annual Home Guard exercise, which is kind of like the National Guard, uh, some new patches were released. Also, I hope my voice is not too bad, I'm a little bit sick, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, basically, one of the biggest changes here is that instead of needing 100,000 tons to initiate a um, naval invasion, you now only need 25,000 tons. So that makes things a little bit easier. Well, at least early game, late game, you, you would still need, for the invasion itself, you would still need several hundred thousand tons, so uh, at this point in my campaign it doesn't make a huge difference, but early game... I can see this being uh, quite nice because if you're playing in 1900 even even getting to 100,000 tons might be difficult f especially for some nations also more uh, minor adjustments to tension mechanics and whatever uh, we're gonna see how that works out but I guess before we figure out how any of those changes uh, affect the campaign, we have a battle to fight. Vermont class battleship. I guess we've fought these before. Uh, they're basically like the New York class, but with 13.5s instead of 14 inch guns. So I guess it's like if the New York class had guns imported from the UK instead of. Uh, American 14-inch guns, maybe? Anyway, it's just one battleship. Let's see what the uh, uh, Chubin can do. Alright, I got my stuff mostly organized. I'm sending the battle cruisers and uh, heavy cruisers home. Because they are kind of low on ammunition and I would like to see them uh, fully resupplied before the next battle. So, what are we up against? One heavy cruiser. Not much armor. Not much speed. Not much firepower. Well, the guns are decent, but she's only got four of them. And the Illinois. Which is a Vermont class battleship. Ten 13.5 inch guns. Mark fives. So, not bad. It's all... <laughs> It's got armor. Around 12 inches on everything. We do not have a lot of ammunition. That's the... Uh, actually, let's turn the guns off until we get closer. The Illinois is not that dangerous at range. So, might as well close in, right? Uh, in fact, let's send the uh, light cruiser home as well. Yeah, just DDs and battleships. Uh, I think that will work. Very, very far away. It's not a very fast battleship. It's actually very slow. Even slower than mine. Uh, yes, it is. 21 knots, so... Well, it is a standard battleship. Oof. Wow. That... That hurt. I think you're done here. Can it make it home alive? Maybe. If it doesn't take any more hits. And let's see, this squadron here. 
Uh, sure. One on the battleship and two on the heavy cruiser, and that'll be it. I think. And we're just gonna have to wait for the uh, the battleships to get closer, which they now are. Well, not quite in range yet. Mine are not the fastest either. Some of these DDs were not fully supplied with uh, fresh torpedoes since the previous battle. We're gonna get any torpedo heads on this heavy cruiser. Yes, we are. One dud. But I don't know. Maybe it can work as a uh, as a thumbnail. And one live one on the stern. Pueblo. Uh, my own battle wagons. Uh, I would like to get them closer before I open fire. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not my intention. You know, might get some, might get some torpedo hits here. Ding Ching three not doing too hot. Hope they can get away. Almost. Almost one torpedo hit. No, I don't think uh don't think she'll make it. A couple more seconds and she can uh, pop smoke. Yeah, lost sight of them. That is good. 35 kilometers. Show you Ma. You can target Pueblo. Okay, open fire. Heaton has a decent amount of ammunition. Chubin does not. But her guns are pretty big, so... Hopefully just a couple of hits will uh, do some uh, major damage. Oh no. I should have uh, detached them sooner, because I think enemy battleship was actually aiming at this one. Just accidentally hitting the one in the front. She's getting hit in return now. So that's something. As is the Pueblo.
not really a great trade though, because that battleship we're firing at is not very expensive. I'm not sure uh, the DD that got sunk. If it was one of my Hualong class DDs, then it's actually worth about half what this battleship is worth, which is quite a lot for a DD. Might have just been a Jing Ching though. And there goes the Illinois. So, well, the battle is won. That was not really a big surprise. Let's see, what kind of DD did we lose? Quilong. Oh, it's a Jing Ching. Okay. Not too bad. Huladao. Yeah, that's the expensive one. And it took some damage, too. Now the sad thing about losing this is that I can't really build more of the Jing Ching 3s because uh, that patch, uh, that bug has been fixed. Anyway, a win is a win. Alright, lots of things happening. Uh, Austria-Hungary is trying to invade my ally. We're going to need a lot more into this uh, invasion here. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not once these uh, enemy ships leave. Which ships are these, though? Machine 2. Okay. How about this invasion? Oh, that's going well. Are we right on top of an enemy? Uh, yes, we are. What do we have here? Come on now. Hefei and Mu Deng. Okay. I think we've broken the blockade, so it should pass next turn. So the uh, the Shein class battleships they can, for example, go down here, do something about this. That's a hundred percent. But no, I think the invasion of Singapore is what we should be focusing on. Oh, that's a long way around. Just move down here then. Can these move like... no? Yeah, because they're being blocked by this fleet. Well, hopefully we're going to get a meeting here next turn. Uh, meanwhile, the Austrians are uh, trying to push into North Borneo. Maybe launching an invasion of uh, the rest of Borneo would be a good idea. Once I have some free ships to do that with. But first, uh, we have a convoy and an ambush. Okay, we are being ambushed by US DDs. That is great because these are pretty bad. <laughs> they only have one torpedo each. No reloads. They're not very fast. They're kind of tanky for uh, DDs, but the way high class is just going to eat them alive. Okay, Jin Yang. You're not gonna be the main character here. That'll be the Sunni. You can still play though. 
Nine inch guns can do some kind of work. And the weather is cloudy. So, just by the way, there are two very similar weather types in this game. I was going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here. Cloudy and overcast. They do pretty much the same thing, gameplay-wise. Uh, but this is cloudy. You can see it's cloudy. And you can also see the ocean. And it doesn't look like a graphical bug. It actually looks decent. The other weather type, Overcast, does the same thing and covers the entire ocean in some kind of a fog effect. And it looks like well it doesn't look good so I wish they would just remove it from the game and replace it with this that we have here no need for both I'll keep an eye out for those torpedo launches but it's not really a big deal because it's just one torpedo per DD so they're not that difficult to dodge Okay, we're just switching targets now. Don't do that. You launched. You have launched. You have launched. And now you launched as well. Turn this around too so we don't have any accidents. for the guns on the uh, light cruiser to turn around. Okay, I thought you had launched. You launched now. There we go, big hit on John A. Bow. Actually, taking some uh, not insignificant damage from the guns on these DDs. Including some flooding damage. Sank one. And we're about to sink another one. Anthony next. They stopped firing? Are they... No, they're not out of ammo. Here comes the uh, Jin Yang. Juni just switched targets again from Anthony to McGowan. That's okay. Solid 9 inch hits from the heavy cruiser. No, no, no. Don't switch back now. Uh, 
And Jin Yang actually doing pretty well. I was expecting the light cruiser to do most of the work, but no. And there we go. Four more USDDs. Defeated. Uh, some damage to Zuni, but that's... She'll live. Also, um, before I went away, a couple of weeks ago now, I think it was, there was a patch that increased the uh, the shipbuilding capacity. So, I do want to design something and make use of this, because I suddenly find myself with more than half a million tons of free capacity to build stuff. But first off, we're going to be defending a convoy. Actually, not attacking one, but defending. I got a Metal Snake class light cruiser and a uh, Shijuan class heavy cruiser. 1954 refit. Up against the USS San Diego and three DDs. Alright, that's the expensive US uh, heavy cruiser. Might get some victory points out of this. Alright. And here we go. Heavy cruiser, basically not gonna be the flagship. Well, kind of is, actually. As designated by the game. Mm, light cruiser, just follow. And we're just gonna have to wait for them to get into range. And the convoy is turning around. Let's see. How far away are they? This direction. See the radar pings. They're quite far away. And San Diego spotted me first. Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure we've seen these before. Yeah, we have. So, six 10.2 inch guns. Decent range. Not much armor. Minus 2.4 beam. Minus 13.3 draft. It's still a pretty big boy though. 15.7 thousand tons. Let's see, diesel 2, triple hull bottom. Anti-flood 3, citadel 3. Anti-torp 4. Radar 3. I'm pretty sure I can gun it out with her. I do have a pretty big advantage in main gun firepower. Both in terms of range and just, well, raw firepower. There you go. One good hit already. Let's just turn completely broadside and bring the uh, off turrets to bear. Uh, metal snake. Oh, wait, are we switching targets now? Do not. Do not do that.
If I wanted you to target the DDs, I would have uh, targeted the DDs. What cruiser can do that? Okay. Okay. So this class of DD actually has reloads for its torpedoes. It's a lot of firepower though. This class does not. Are they the same? Maybe this is a refit. It might be. Made it a little bit slower to gain an extra torpedo. Still just one single tube though. But at least she can launch again. After reloading. So it's a, it's a little bit of an improvement, I guess. And yeah, San Diego is not winning the, uh, the gunfight. Sixteen kilometer torp. Twelve point seven kilometer torp. Okay, so it's got longer range torpedo too. not sail into that torpedo or this one. Oh, Secondary is on that guy. One DD left, and yeah, one DD left because the cruiser just sank. Not having done anything. And yeah, there we go. Are you firing AP? Why? Odd choice of ammunition. I'm targeting a DD. Anyway. Another win. And uh, a decent load of victory points. Almost 10,000. And they got one. So yeah, let's um, let's design some ships. I don't think this French invasion is anything to worry about. They just do not have the tonnage in this area to pull that off. And if they do, I'm just going to send ships there and uh, sink them. I should probably interrupt this thing though, seeing as the Netherlands are my ally. And yes, it, it would potentially be beneficial to let them take it, so I can take it off them, but that would not make me a very good ally, would it? Let's design something. So, we got the Mudang built on the Super Battleship. I'm pretty sure that's the one... Uh, we built on. We get Shema on the command battleship. Hife on the modern battleship. Or is it?
Where is Hefei? No! That's a super battleship too! Okay, so we have not built anything on the modern battleship hull. Let's, uh, let's rectify that. Let's build something. Let's go with the 30 knot top speed. Uh, oil 1. Turbo electric. So we got these very nice triangle towers. I think this one. Now we got some secondary towers as well. That one maybe because it has a tunnel uh, a funnel slot. Like that. Yes. And yes, I know it's possible to just place a funnel on the deck. But that just... Uh, I, I just don't think it looks right. Now, what kind of guns do we want to place on this? We can go with 16s. Yes. Are we going to go with 12 of them? What does Hefei have? She's only got 8. And she's like 30,000 tons heavier than this. So maybe... Um, Maybe nine would be better, yes. Let's scoot this a little bit aft. And I want to have a secondary barbette here, just behind the B turret. I guess I have to move things forward a bit again. Like so, and like thus. Okay, good enough for now. Uh, secondary guns. I've gone with 7 inch guns on so many of these battleships, so that is kind of like the. Uh, the standard here. Like so. Decent secondary battery. And some anti-torp things and triple bottom things. Uh, the resistance here is not that high anyway so Let's go standard ratio. Increased HE on the secondaries. Increased ammo is... Uh, basically mandatory. Let's go semi-auto to begin with. Drop that, maybe? Maybe. Okay. At least there's a lot of armor here that can be cut. But first, I want to armor up the uh, the turrets just a little bit. Let 
Can I save 3,000 tons, though? No. Did not mean to remove the turret. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Let's reduce the... Um, inner belts until the third inner belt is three inches thick like so okay we're almost there oh the range is way excessive 23,000 kilometers more than good enough Seven inch guns might need some armor. I don't think I can put too much on them though. Yeah, that's basically the maximum. See, these 16 inch guns are 52 caliber. And 55. Yeah, that's good. Okay, a little bit of an aft weight offset. We can fix that. It's not too serious, but if it can be fixed, then uh, why not fix it? Almost fixed. Maybe some 5-inch turrets as well. Yeah, because they can be placed up here. And even up there. There we go. That made the aft weight offset worse for some reason. But I can scoot the A and B turrets up a little bit give them slightly better arcs mm, yeah like so yeah not the greatest range on these 5 inch 38s or on the 7 inch guns actually they need to be made much much longer if they are to be of any use There we go. Even maxed out, there are only 47 calibers in length. Oh, let's adjust the position of these a little bit. There we go. Okay, have to save a little bit of weight. That didn't save much. <clears throat> mm, let's see, let's see. If I bump that up to electrical, is that lighter or heavier? It's heavier. I could go down to coincidence that's a better uh, base accuracy or do I want the improved long range accuracy let's see at 40,000 meters 1 and 1.7% 1 accuracy come on show me Yeah, no, I don't think it's reflected in the gun stats here. At 20,000, it's 4.1 uh, and 5.4.
4.1 and 5.3. Okay, it is reflected. 1 and 1.7. 1 and 1.7. Okay, so the long range accuracy is actually pr basically the same <laughs> with coincidence and uh, stereoscopic. Because while stereoscopic does give you a uh, bonus to long range accuracy, Uh, the improved gun base accuracy of the coincidence rangefinder just kind of makes up for it and makes your accuracy accuracy better at closer range. Plus, it's lighter, so not really any uh, any point of uh, in picking stereoscopic then. I was just, for some reason, under the impression that they had uh, rebalanced it a little bit, but I guess not, because that's been uh, that's been the case for basically as long as I've played this game. That coincidence range finder has just been better than stereoscopic. Anyway, can we armor up the barbettes on these seven inch guns now? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, uh, didn't save quite enough weight to improve the uh, the reloading. Or the anti flood. Or the steering. Well, I can go with electric steering too. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the battleship Chao Long. But we can build more than just one battleship. Because there are two more battleship hulls that I've not built anything on. A large torpedo warship. This is a strange thing. Let's go 30 knots on E2. And oil 1 and turbo electric. And we got a choice of three towers that are not very good gonna just pick the least bad one. At least all the funnels are uh, pretty good. I'm gonna pick the two smallest ones. I like having two funnels. Or at least more than one. So that if one funnel is hit, I don't take too much of a... Um, degrading to my mobility. Let's see, 13 inch guns. <laughs> Seems to be the maximum here. Okay then. Well, these all look kind of bad. How about quad 13s? I know it says torpedo uh, warship, but there's no law that says I have to be focused on torpedoes, is there? Can I place a bar? No? No! Oh, yes? Yes, but only just barely. <laughs> okay, that's quite a lot of firepower we're looking at here. 
Yeah, I know it said Torpedo Warship. That's the name of the hull. But there's no law requiring, requiring me to actually make this uh, <laughs> a dedicated torpedo spammer. Although that said... Oh, we can mount a lot of... Wow. How crazy can we go with these torpedoes? The answer is yes. Uh, 22 inch oxygen torpedoes. That seems to be the uh, what I've standardized on. That's a lot of torpedoes. But the problem with torpedoes, um, especially deck launchers, is that they are very, very vulnerable. So just a couple of hits is it's just gonna decimate the crew. So I think we're not gonna go this crazy with the torpedoes. Let's fix that aft weight offset. Do I even need secondaries on this uh, crazy contraption? Oh. <laughs> well, it seems like there are not a lot of places where I can even fit the secondaries. Or barbettes. No? No? Okay then. No secondaries, I guess. There were like a couple of places here. That ruins the uh, the arcs though of these turrets. So I don't really like that. Okay, no secondaries. Uh, in fact, this... Wow. Let's reduce the beam. It's being very, very fat. It's still very, very fat. It looks a little bit better now. Yeah, I'm not really digging this. be completely honest. But I guess maybe we can uh, make something not terrible out of this. Already overweight. Okay, we don't have any secondaries, but sure enough. Need the increased ammo. I'm gonna go with triple base. Just ignore the flash fire chance. Coincidence. Generation two radar. Okay, there's a um, there's a bit of armor here that can be reduced after first increasing the armor on the turrets. So this is not going to be a very heavily armored battleship. Yeah, no. Okay, we're just not going to have any uh, inner layers to the armor. I 
guess a double bottom will be enough. Okay, the turbo electric engine is, I guess, just a little bit too heavy. Forty-five point four thousand tons with so diesel too. But they are cheaper though. I can reduce the range. Forty six eleven. Forty four nine. That saves me about a thousand tons, but it also adds a lot to the cost going to uh, diesel instead of turbo electric. Could also go gear turbines and save even more weight. Still more expensive than turbo electric. Uh, but maybe that's the uh, maybe that's the choice to make. Yeah, I think it is. Reduce the anti-torp. Yeah, it's a goofy ship, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite a goofy looking ship. 57 caliber length. Let's make them 55s at least. Saving some weight. Now well, the range is not that good. If we bump them up to 60, get a lot more range out of them. And some more penetration, so this is a decent cruiser killer. But it's also 4% overweight, so... Uh, how decent can it even be if I'm not allowed to build it? I'm gonna reduce the bulkheads. I don't do that often. But I guess if I have to, then I have to. Mm. So close. I reduce the main deck armor. Yeah, we're getting there now. Not, not one inch. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Right on the money. It's a bit fragile for a battleship. I guess it's a battleship in name only. Is a decent companion to the Beijing class battlecruisers, basically. It's got a little bit more firepower, it's got a lot of torpedoes. It has no secondary firepower whatsoever. Eh, let's ship it. But we're not done yet. Because there's one more battleship hull that I haven't built anything on. And it's this one, Modernized Dreadnought 1. Yeah. Let's go with Oil 1 and Turbo Electric. It's not very big though. 34,000 tons is the maximum. Mm. 
not a very good looking tower. Uh, let's go with a uh, not huge one. Slap it on there. Uh, let's see. This cannot be very fast, can it? What's the top speed of um, the... where is it? Where's my Timu? There it is. 24 knots. And Chubin. 24 knots. Uh, Sakura Lega. 22.5 knots. Okay. Where's the, uh, oh, Conco, 23 knots. Let's try and go for 24, so that if they end up in the same battle as a bunch of Timu Claws battleships, they're not going to keep them back. Do you not fit here? Mr. Enhanced Funnel? You kind of do. I do like having two phones, though, as I've said. Okay, it just fits on one pixel here. So I guess that's the phone we're going with. Okay. Main guns. Well, kind of made the choice for me with the 14s. They're the biggest ones I can get. We're going to show the Americans how to build a uh, New York style type of battleship. There we go. Kind of like that. It's a terrible four weight offset. But that's what you get when, <laughs> when you can't really move that barbette around. Okay. Mm, range is pretty good. Let's see if we can make this uh, like halfway decent. Do we have decent resistance on this? Not really. No. I'm just going to go with set a little 5 then. Uh, increased HE on secondaries. Not sure what kind of secondaries I can fit on this yet. Triple base? I think we can make this very, very budget friendly. So we can actually build more of them. Yeah, that's a very, very low cost. What's the, uh... Let's see, Timu, 1.5 billion. Can I make these even cheaper? That would be, uh, that would be something. Okay, yeah, the cost is kind of climbing up there now, but it's not too bad. Let's put some decent armor on them. Actually. 
and 16 on the main belt, not too bad. We're not even overweight yet, and I haven't had to reduce any of the armor. This is not bad. Let's go with three inches on the uh, third inner belt. That should be equal to 30. And 1.7 on the uh, third inner deck. Let's go 1.5. There we go. That should be equal to 15. should protect this from uh, catastrophic penetrations. There you go, 55 caliber length on the main guns. That's very, very decent range. And it's still got a bit of a four-way top set. It's not terrible, but I still got 2,000 tons to play with. which is pretty sweet. I can put casemates on this. Like here. Any further back? No? 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 Like, you'd think that this was a casemate slot, but it just isn't. Okay, we can move this uh, aft turret even further aft. I just had a very funny idea. Not sure if I have the, the uh, displacement for it. Uh, I almost do. No. No. About a thousand times off. But I can at least give these turrets uh, slightly better arcs of fire. I can now traverse full 360. As can this. Excellent! They all can! <clears throat> Four weight offset is still a thing. I think what I will do here is um, move this here. Okay, one pixel further up. Because of poor sectors of fire. No, you're fine. And then put this barbette here. Now you got a full uh, 360. You should be able to do that too. Because now these turrets 
can be placed here. And that is nice. A little bit overweight. I'll leave it at that. Forward offset just gets worse and worse and worse. You can remove those. Don't really do much. Okay. Six inch turrets. Uh, six inch guns. Very, very short. These are not too bad. We're a little bit overweight now. Decent range. Not too bad range. Just turn these down to 45s. Because it's a nicer number. Don't need any other reason. As for the 6 inch turrets armor. Yeah, that's enough. Need to save 50 tons, though. That works. I can add on a little bit more. There we go. 9.5. Decent. And it's even cheaper than the Timus. Yeah, it's got 14-inch guns instead of 15s. And they lack the 7-inch uh, the secondaries of the Timu class. And I think the tower spotting is even worse. Well, not much worse. But yeah, Gia class. Very budget friendly. Mm, should work decently against battle cruisers and uh, heavy cruisers and such. Yeah, let's ship it. Now, time to build. Chao Long. I want one of those. And uh, let's see, Ding Ching, that's the, uh, the torpedo meme battleship. Maybe two of them? Add one to, uh, like, each of my Battlecruiser uh, formations. Yeah, that would work. I think that would work. Or maybe to the fast battleship squadrons. Like the Sheen uh, task forces. So they can have these to combat um, uh, cruisers and stuff. Yeah, sure. And that leaves us with still a lot of tonnage of free capacity. So we're going to build some of these. And we're going to build many of them. I think two full squadrons. That should give me... Uh, that's not even that much in terms of tonnage. Yeah, that should give me two full new task forces. Actually, let's just do six of them. And they can be supplemented with the... Um, like, the captured Italian battleship and such. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of battleships, but... They are very small and uh, cheap, the Geo class. Like, I've seen my enemies uh, with heavy cruisers that cost more than these, so. Yes, in terms of battleships, just what technically counts as a battleship, we're far ahead of anyone. But that does include the eight Timu class battleships and some captured ones that are also not very, very expensive. 
then again, the five American battleships are not that good either, as we have seen. But yeah, that's it for uh, for this episode. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, probably. And we're gonna see how all these uh, invasions work out now that things have been changed yet again in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Goodbye, and take care.